What's up guys? How are you all doing? I know you guys are doing great there. And I know that also that you guys love your Android smart. You remember that day when we first bought our smartphone? We were exciting and the Android seems to run pretty good and pretty fast on that time. But when the time passes, it becomes slow and slower than before. We are never ever able to find out the reason why it is getting so slow and if you are facing this kind of problem right now then this video is for you guys you are in the right video today i'm going to show you how you can make your android smartphone run in a lightning fast speed isn't that great or it will or at least it will run like a brand new phone without any root so you don't have to do anything at all okay so in the tips i'm going to show you in this video which are very effective and you can clearly see the result after doing that so guys without wasting any time let's get started with our video shall we come on so guys the first tip is that that you guys can use launchers okay there are so many launchers available in the play store now these days which can make your run device faster okay uh, not to mention there are adw launcher okay lightning launcher smart launcher uh, so many launchers are available which will make your android smartphone faster than before all these launchers will give you android a special look of a new feel as well as it makes your android experience far better than the stock android touch wheels what we have with our android smart okay it make your android experience feel a lot more comfortable and fast tip number second reduce the number of widget and unused app all of this you'd get using the cpu and also using your ram for nothing so if you reduce number of widget then definitely there will be less tasks to handle in your android smartphone in that time and relatively it become fast now i'm going to show you how you can delete all these widgets okay long press any of these widgets like this okay drag it to the bottom here you can see your trash can so drag it there and you can delete your widget from your home screen tip number three well don't use live wallpaper because it is not good for battery as well as for your phone because it is continue running in the back so if you use normal wallpaper it will use less animation on your android and same with this theory that android will handle less task in that time and it will become fast as well as it also increase your battery life if you use black wallpaper how you can disable live wallpaper i'm going to show you long press your home screen now uh, use home screen choose any wallpaper you want okay tip number four there is animation and transition effect in the phone by default so whenever we go to app to app it show the transition I don't like the transition that much so if you disable it from the setting okay go to the setting here you can find a developer option and there is a window it's called the it's called windows animation scale as you can see it is already off the second one is transition animation scale okay now you can see right here i have set it to the one but i don't like to use animation in my smartphone so that's why i'm going to uh, uh, set it off right here okay now you can see that my animation is gone and in, the, in this way my phone is become faster than before because tip number five there are so many apps available in the market which kill background tasks and save your battery power as well as free up your ram and make your android device faster i use uh, task killer 
here you can see there is a menu which where you can check that which of the tasks to kill and which of them to let go okay and you can auto reset it for after like 30 minutes or 45 minutes or one hour it will kill task automatically so that is a cool feature and you can choose lots of task killer available in the play store and you can choose it whichever you like most okay which fits your personality i like this one and i am using this one okay that's it the tip number six is that reset your phone most important of all we should reset our phone every day so that will stop that all the app that's working on the back as well as uh, as well as all the junk file that delete uh, will get deleted and make our phone faster i personally do it every day in the morning it is just like shut down and restart your laptop so if you do this you get a faster and right than before that's it guys I do hope that you guys like that little video about how to make your Android smartphone run faster. If you do, then make sure that you like this video. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel for more of this kind of video. If you got any kind of doubt, then you can ask me in the comment section below so I can answer them all. And don't you forget guys that I love you so much and I will see you in the next video. Until then guys, bye.